Now socially, there's a social distinction. So we live, you know, in a corrupt system where we, where we don't see equal rights and justice. Where we have a system based on if your face fits, a system based on bullying of the different castes, the different classes, but for, based on on history. So we're forced into accepting injustices and then we have a description that's forced on us. For example, you know, we can see that 9-11 was controlled demolitions. We can see the buildings in free fall, controlled demolition. So we can see. So we can see that as the truth is so this is what we can see, but we are told a lie that this is a terrorist attack. And then that terrorist attack is used to divide us up to say, it's, you know, for the Christians, it's all right to kill the Muslims and the Muslims, you've got to kill the Christians and perpetuate this war to maintain the hierarchy and the control and the division of mankind. We can see that putting an image of a, of a man nailed to a cross into a child's mind is wrong, is evil, has bad consequences. But the idea is to mess up the individual, make the individual oppress himself and beat himself up and say, I am a sinner and I'm responsible for Jesus being nailed to the cross. This is evil concept to be put on children's minds. And we see these parasitic preachers preaching the gospel in order to tithe people and live off their backs. Now these two things, the evil nature of Christianity and Islam and the 9-11 truth, these are the basic things we should see. If we do not see these things, then we cannot gain an understanding, a free understanding of our human nature. In our human nature, there's no royal family, there's no holy family, there is no last prophet, there is no human sacrifice, there is no God sacrificing his son to save us, there is no God putting the sins of one man on another as some scapegoat. This is all bullshit to divide mankind up against man and prevent us functioning as a human society. So all the problems of mental health come from the rulers of our society, from the religious and political rulers. Whereas we should understand ourselves on the ten dimensions, with all our personalities, with all our interrelationships, our desire for harmony, for justice, for equal rights and justice, you know, for a decent home, for decent food, for pure food, for pure water, but most of all for a sense of community, for a community and an international community, not just a local community. Not just a war can happen in Afghanistan and we can kill Muslims, but we're sacrosanct over here. But you see, now they're saying the truthers are, are terrorists because we live under a tyranny, a tyranny that denies truth, that says you should go to church and give your money to the preacher for the Lord's work, which in the Lord's work is to enslave and prey upon other people.